yeah, extremely suspect that Inoue was bitching and complaining about getting random tested. And Inoue is, is an arrogant man from what I've dealt with him. The, my brief, I've got to interview him here in the States. He's, uh, I'm a big fan of him as a fighter. Uh, but he is a little arrogant and he is a little bit used to having his way and having his ass kissed and treated like a king at home in Japan. So he showed that entitlement when Vada was like, yeah, it's random. What the fuck do you think is the point of us testing you? Of course it's random. And he bitched about it. And then the fight got moved to a later date. So that is suspect. Um, yeah, this, this is at the top levels of professional sport. Nothing surprises me in that. Yeah, extremely suspect that. So you heard him. You heard what he had to say. He said he started bitching, complaining when he found out what Vada was, so he ain't been tested. I, I put my heart in this box. They be like, y'all need to stop it. We swipe my car and they rob us. These promoters, these shots and they partners. It's gonna be hard trying to stop us. Speaking for the fans when I say they're offending me. But really, y'all part of the problem. Blind about how you don't see the real enemy. You motherfucker be tempting me. Don't like your energy. You think you pimping me. If I for over 500 centuries, no penitentiary. I'm smoking plenty weed. I don't need no sympathy or a spin. Versus Crawford, gon' be all the time. Regardless of who win or lose, they still gon' be in the house. So I ain't even in my feelings Regardless of the rain, I'm chillin' Numb to the pain, no feeling. Can't do the same, no feeling. We'll get to but I ain't no villain Lows my top, so it ain't no silly Ryan versus Tank, this fight I'm not feeling. Cause we already know that Tank gon' kill him I wanna see Tank versus Devin Haney Even Frank Moore What about Shakur? Boxing is not a sport That we can afford Cause we know that rich people ride the board This I cannot ignore I've never been shot before The pain is burning inside My people died, it's just like a hunter who shot a bull? Damn, I put my heart in this box. They be like, y'all need to stop it. We swipe my card and they rob us. These promoters, the shots and they partners. It's gonna be hard trying to stop us. Speaking for the fan when I say they're offending me. But really, I'm part of the problem. Blind about how you don't see the real enemy. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. So, Monster in a way. Yep. Uh, considered to be the number two pound for pound fighter in boxing, according to ESPN and according to uh, Ringside or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been some talk about him juicing. Um, I've suspected it. Uh, a little more confirmation. Um, yeah, um, to black folks, um, and to yeah, Latinos, to all y'all besides uh, uh, J Japanese, I'm going to get to y'all too. But to all Americans, let's just say it like that. Um, yeah, I played the white boy. Uh, he with Fight Hype. Everybody know him. Uh, yeah, he got like a million subscribers. He's considered mainstream. So his word is way real credible. Yeah, all content, most content creators uh, respect his opinion. And they don't go against that shit. So, I ain't no need to go on against this shit. So, I played what he said first. Uh, yeah, but I didn't know this. I, I didn't know that, uh, in a way, uh, yeah, he was talking shit about that random testing when they told him it was random. He was cool with the testing until they said it was random. Um, a lot of shit. Kind of reminds me of uh, when Pacquiao refused that blood test and he said he was scared of needles or some shit or it was against his religion. Oh, it kind of reminds me of that. And you know what? Casual fans know nothing about it. But like I told you, uh, most casual fans know everything about a rehydration clause now since that Tank and Ryan fight. Everybody know about that. That shit touched eat first take. Everybody studied that shit. People know the true definition of a rehydration clause. So um, it never went viral when Manny Pacquiao refused to uh, get tested. He never wanted to get tested. Um... Yeah, but anyway, let, let me get to uh, anyway. I I've been suspecting a lot of shit uh, by promoting the shit out here. Uh, you with top rank, um, yeah, you they golden child. Um, everybody, all of them say it, and even uh, a weird black channel say you number two pound for pound. Nobody argue that shit. I ain't seen too many arguments. They say you the number two pound for pound fighter. When we don't, most fans of these same fans who agree with that shit don't know who you fought. Besides, no Nito Donaire, 
We don't know. Most of us don't know. Butler wasn't shit, and we know that, though. Uh, nobody had heard of him. A lot of shit. Uh, and as soon as you hit him with a right hand, he gave up. But it's a lot of shit. But anyway, I think you're a very good fighter. But I've never considered you pound for pound because I've never seen you do anything that's pound for pound. I think you got very uh, good hand speed. Uh, yeah, you hit hard and shit like that. Um, but, I, I, you know, you moving up to 122 and calling out cool boy. Immediately, I gave you credit. I said, anyway, trying to be great. Um, the fight was supposed to be back in May. Um, you canceled that shit like a few weeks away. Um, when they, when they started talking about testing. So, uh, I'm just going to go on the count of saying, um, I think it's some suspect shit and I think it's even more than suspect. <laughs> I think it's some conspiracy shit. I think, uh, shit is set up in your favor. Let's just put it like that. Just like it was set up in Pacquiao favor. It's a lot of shit Pacquiao did that is, I, let me tell you something. It's some shit I seen in Rocky that's more believable. Uh, when he fought Mr. T, that shit was more believable than Pacquiao uh, stopping Antonio Margarito. It's a lot of shit. All them punches he threw when he fought Oscar. It's a lot of shit. Uh, yeah. And when, when Pacquiao head started swelling up like that, his head got huge. Anyway, this shit started looking like an alien head. But anyway, uh, nah, bro. It's been a lot of this in boxing. And you know the real reason why I got to call this type of shit? Because... I see how petty motherfuckers are. I, bro, I see videos saying uh, Terrence Crawford was exposed because he want to come out last, because they flipped for a coin. He exposed? So that means he's scared of Spence? And I hear uh, people saying Spence just depending on his size and his power, and he just think because he bigger, he going to win. Bro, it's way more to boxing than that. So I just don't know how much you can keep exposing Spence and Crawford when the fight right around the corner. Bro, they training. So, I, I just don't get it. If you motherfuckers can be that petty, won't you stand for something that's right? Won't you stand against PEDs, bro? It's in boxing, bro. We know that shit. Uh, PEDs is in boxing. And I'm going to tell you what this shit reminds me of. Uh, it reminds me of when Fatback Fury uh, fought Wilder the third fight. <laughs> no, nah, uh, they canceled that shit. Remember that shit? No, nah, remember that shit? Uh, he canceled it. And... And I remember Malik Scott said, boy, when Fury canceled that shit, Wilder was in dog shape. And so he had to regroup and re uh, go back in the training camp. And out, and it looked very drained in the third fight. But also, when uh, Fury called that fight off, and I think he, did he say he had COVID or some shit? Yeah, some shit like that. But anyway, uh, he was shopping in uh, Vegas, buying Lamborghinis. We seen him out. He was everywhere. People in his camp was at different fights. So we seen that there was a lot. And People didn't really call him out on that. So, and he came in the third fight looking just like he did in the second fight. There was no, the only difference in the third fight is Wilder knocked him down twice. But the same shit happened that happened in the second fight. As soon as he hit Wilder with this outrageous Sonny Liston combined with uh, uh, George Foreman Power, uh, Wilder was hurt the entire fight, just like he was in the second. So this outrageous power and this extreme gas tank that Fury never gasses out no more, it's a lot of shit that started happening when he uh, called that fight off. So, um, bro, it's, boxing, is a, bro, boxing is the only sport that's really ran by gangsters. Uh, to all you casual motherfuckers that listen to me, I just want you to know, boxing is the only, we don't ever want to talk that shit. Uh, nah, I'm just going to call boxing what it is, bro. Boxing don't even have a homeland. Vegas is not boxing's homeland. Vegas is Vegas. Everybody perform at the MGM Grand. All your favorite rappers out they don't belong to boxing. Uh the Barclays, that's where the Nets play. That ain't boxing. Madison Square Garden, everybody perform there. Boxing don't have a homeland. And you don't get shit when you retire. You just if you don't save up your money, you're broke. So it's a lot of corrupt ass shit about boxing, and I will always point that out uh first. So yeah, in a way, I think you uh willing to do whatever it takes to be the next great. Um, you know, after 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 they lost Pac, yeah, I knew they was I knew they was looking for another Asian to make great. Um, you know? I'ma tell you something that's weird though. <laughs> it's a channel. It's a lot of black people. It's a lot of people I've heard say this weird ass shit. <laughs> but uh showbiz. I heard them say this years ago. Uh Floyd Floyd beat Pacquiao and he's great, but Pacquiao's greater. 
I heard Max Kellerman say that shit. Floyd beat Pacquiao, but Pacquiao's greater. He's greater. His career was greater. What? Because he had closer fights and more wars. You motherfuckers need to stop. He was knocked out, bro, face first by Manuel Marquette. And y'all try to erase that shit from history, bro. That shit happened, bro. You ain't never seen Floyd drop, bro. Seen him wobble? Never dropped. Uh, it's a big difference, bro. Uh, Pacquiao was knocked out cold, bro. And he was stopped to the body early in his career. It's a lot of shit that happened to Pac. Uh, it's a lot of fight. He lost to Tim Bradley, bro. Floyd would have never lost to Tim Bradley. It would have never happened, bro. A lot of shit. Uh, AB, I can argue AB beat him. You know, it's a lot more shit, but. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this, though. I'm gonna get off this motherfucker. Uh, it's a lot of corrupt shit. Um, I'm just gonna tell you why I've come to the conclusion, uh, Cool boy gonna lose this fight, bro. It's gonna take a miracle. I believe in miracles. It's gonna take that. It's gonna take that. It's gonna take uh I lie being on uh cool boy side. Uh yeah. He gonna have to really pray hard. It's gonna have to really uh yeah, yeah. It's gonna I lie gonna have to intervene in this shit, bro, because it's set up for him to lose. I'ma say something real quick. Uh I said if Devin took a slave deal when he had to go to Australia twice and fight Cambosis. I said that shit, um, yeah, I said that shit. But also, um, Devin was fighting for Undisputed. Uh, he had one of the titles, but Cambosis had the other three titles, so he was fighting for something, even though I disagree with that. But Devin got off with that shit, and I'm still shocked that he got away with it in Australia, of all countries. But let me tell you something, bro. Cambosis was a star, but Tim Zoo is different. I'm, let me tell you something, bro. Don't not now, because you see what happened to Tony Harris. Don't not now other... A uh, black fighter, take your dust. Don't take your ass out there to Australia, bro. Thinking you finna beat Tim Zoo out there. Uh, and Tim Zoo starting to look a little different too. So <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. When fight, when countries are behind fighters, uh, they'll do anything for them to win. So um, it's a lot of shit. So like I said, I don't think no fighter beats uh, Tim Zoo in his country. It won't happen. Like I said, Cambosis wasn't love like Tim Zoo. It's a big difference. Uh, he the son of Costa Zoo. So, I'm saying that to say this. And Australia ain't near as powerful as Japan. Uh, Japan is way bigger. Uh, yeah, I, you can't even compare Australia. So, I'm saying uh, Devin got away with beating Cambosis by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Um, you ain't finna get up out of Japan with no win over uh, anyway. I'm just gonna tell you that right now, bro. Uh, like I said, Japan is a way more powerful country. Uh, they got ties to America and shit. So, like I said, many Americans will be going for uh, in a way. Another thing uh, that black fighters and black fans don't seem to understand, we don't got no firepower. When you see the black American, you, that's all you see is him and his trainer. <laughs> how many black folks flying? They duck? How many of y'all flying over there? You ain't gonna see no. You ain't gonna see no huge crowd of black folks that done flew from America to Japan to support. Now, some may come, but it won't be a whole lot. So, you know, a lot of us got feelings and shit anyway. So, um, now, nah, bro, uh, we ain't got nothing to really fight against us. Uh, you, we seen that shit with Wilder. We seen that shit with Wilder. Al Hammond didn't fight the uh, band Fury or none of that. He just got the third fight. So, uh, now, nah, uh, when it comes to black fighters, bro, you can pretty much do what you want to us. Uh, it's only a few content creators that's black that will kind of speak up sometimes. Most of us, bro, we ain't on that shit. We still trying to say Bud was exposed even though the contract is signed and the fight is there a week away. You motherfuckers are still saying Spence was exposed. So anyway, you motherfuckers so caught up on these bananas and fruits and nuts that we can't even see that uh, our brother Cool Boy is gonna go through some shit. Also, let me say this. And I'm going to get off this motherfucker. Like I said, we ain't got no firepower. And people know that when we come in their country, black folks ain't finna cause up no stir if he get cheated. We ain't going to do that shit. That shit ain't going to go viral. That shit, I, I bet you Nelly won't come out and say he threw a box it over that. <laughs> you know, but he can speak on uh, Loma. Uh, anyway, cool boy, let me say this about you, bro. Um, I said Devin took a slave deal when he fought Cambosis. Uh, let me tell you something, bro. This is deeper than a slave deal, what you took. Uh, at least Devin was uh, uh, gaining three titles by beating Cambosis. You gain nothing by beating in a way, bro. Uh, he don't have no titles. You the champion, bro. Uh, you gain nothing by beating him. 
uh, and I heard you in your interview and you said, I'm doing stuff that ain't even been done no more. How many people, how many champions go to the other country and I'm traveling and you want to be a traveling warrior? No, bro. You falling for the hype, bro. You just, you just do a lot of shit. You doing just like when Tank fought Ryan. It's a lot of shit, bro. You could have fought Reese Celine, but like I said, you, you feel like beating in a way is going to make you a bigger star and get you a lot of Japanese fans and stuff like that. But it's not going to do it, bro. So, like I said, you put yourself in this position. And it's another, it's one thing to even allow him to have a shot at your title. But to go to his country to defend your title, bro, that shit was, um, it shows a lack of value. Uh, all that you trying to get some Japanese support, bro, it shows a lack of value. It shows a lack of value. So, even though you fucked up, uh, I'm still hoping you win, bro. I'm pulling for you. But at this point, I don't see it. So I won't do a prediction. Uh, I will watch the fight. I'm going to do a post fight. But I will give no prediction because I just don't think you're going to uh, go into Japan and beat uh, they, they uh, Prince. I just don't think you're going to do it, bro. I just don't think. I think it's a lot of shit in play. And I, I bet he don't gas out. I bet he don't gas out. I bet it's going to be a lot of shit. Um, so I don't trust boxing. Uh, it's corrupt. And... Uh, until we start speaking on that shit, I won't respect most of you motherfuckers in box. Most of you motherfuckers, I don't respect it. Because y'all just care more about bringing people to boxing so you can get more subscribers and followers. But you don't want to never tell these motherfuckers, this is a dirty ass sport, bro. Well, you can get killed in this motherfucker. Yeah, like they did Sunday. It's a lot of shit can happen. So until we start speaking up on that shit and being fair all the way across the board, you motherfuckers ain't really fair. This is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Joel Jack. With that, I'm out.